Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey everybody, I'm Dustin. That's Dustin, I'm Keith. Hey Music Keith. guy, bourbon guy. Hi. Yep. Hi, Dustin. <laughs> Alright, so we got another bribe. Calumet. Calumet. I've never had this. I've seen it on the shelf. You know, I don't think I have either, and I've always wondered if it was any good. Bingo. Same. Well, we're about to find out tonight. So David sent us a Calumet bribe. Thank you, David. Thanks, David. Appreciate that. And a tune, right? Yeah, so I'm kind of excited for the tune just based on the title. Okay. So it's Waylon Jennings. Okay. So we got we got an OG. OG. Title of the song is Outlaw Shit. Nuh-uh. For reals. Outlaw Shit. <laughs> about to do some outlaw shit. <laughs> It does sound like something you say right before you go to jail for five years. <laughs> Only five? <laughs> well, 30 to life, whatever. All right, so. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's rough. Uh, I think I want to hear some outlaw shit. You, you wanna yeah, let's it? go. Let's hear some outlaw shit. Not sure what to think yet. You got violins being played like violins, like that old slow, slow pulling these whole notes, right? And, and then you've got these, this weird, creepy, spooky steel guitars sliding in, and I feel like they're playing with a volume knob while they do it, just to give you that creepy. The volume comes up as it slides up. Thing. Yep. And then I think I want to hear. Piano, right? Yeah, the, the piano is kind of playing this kind of slow... I, I don't want to hear that intro again. Man, I feel like we need to pull up the lyrics to this. Fair. Let me let me get those up in a separate window so they're not bothered by it. But I I couldn't understand the first part of that. And he's not enunciating very clearly. Uh -uh. And I want to know what he's saying. I feel like Way Waylon's got something to say on this. All right, so I got our range window. Sorry, guys, technical difficulties here. All right, I'm gonna back this up. Sorry, so we'll we'll try and keep it going from here. Lyrics don't match. Maybe pause it. That, uh, what? Go back. Maybe you didn't pick the right song. It says Outlaw it. Shit, Waylon Jennings. Right, but go back. Maybe there's a different one? What about the, li S the lyrics? Struggle in Waylon. The lyrics video. Down, was that? down, down, down. Outlaw hand. Right there. Uh, let's, we'll probably get an ad. Life comes at you fast. At least it's a four-second ad. Sometimes too fast. 
So count on the pros when things... So it's the same song. These lyrics are not. It does sound a little different, though. This looks right. Yeah. Yep. Crazy overdrive distorted guitar. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, right there. Right there. Seems to only be coming on the right channel.
Like clean it up. Who sent us this? David. David, you didn't send us a song. You sent us a composition. <laughs> Did he break the rules? No. <laughs> okay. Just got to make sure. I, so, man, you talk about a vibe. I feel like I want to listen to this song again. In a dark room on vinyl at about 300 fucking watts. I'm just going? Just window rattling loud. So I am hearing every detail of this song. This composition. Right. Man, you. Th- so we say it all the time on Bourbon Country Reacts. Good songs make you feel something. I'm not real fucking sure what I just felt. But you felt something. I felt something. It was powerful. Super powerful. So that first that first line of lyrics, I thought he was going to like uh, abuse. <laughs> I like, thought it was going to be like a murder. This was just possession. Yeah. Drug possession. Right. Right. Not allowed to get political on Bourbon Country Reacts. But I think it was a little bit more than that. Cause it, it probably talked, was. They talked about possession specifically, but I think there were a couple other hints of other there things. Might have been some other stuff in there, yeah. yeah. Uh, the irony of him saying that he's about law and order in the front's kind of funny. A little bit. <laughs> like, I'm all about law and order, but. But. <laughs> and then what did we say about but? Yeah, everything after the but is bullshit. Or everything before the butt is bullshit, sorry. Yeah. But, um, no, that was just an amazing song, and I'm going to have to listen to it more. I've, this song, it's super complex, because you, you've got the violins in there doing their thing, you've got the steel guitar in there doing its thing, you've got crazy overdrive distortion song, or, like, a guitar, like, bleeding in and then bleeding out and there there are so many subtle things in that song that it's really it's it, it deserves a re-listen i feel like, like it deserves an analysis yeah like just break it down yeah pause hearing what every instrument heard. yes yeah. back it up re, like really dissect this thing we could <coughs> probably excuse me. We could probably waste a couple hours of your time doing that, but it'd probably annoy you, and you wouldn't listen anyway. So uh, we're not going to do that. But I feel like I need to. I, I do. I feel like I need. To you just need to do cut it. that song up, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so this is Calumet. Mm-hmm. Calumet. Calumet. I think. Yeah. yeah. Calumet. Yeah. Well, but isn't it a Canadian? No. Oh, I thought it was. Because that would be all, all frog It's speaky. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Oh, okay. I thought this was Canadian. I don't know why I thought that. I don't either. Because I'm the bourbon guy, so that's why. I think it's pretty good. So it's got... So a little bit of citrus hits me first. Mm-hmm. And still in the initial... Then the corn sweet rolls in. To me, that's not corn sweet. It's 
it is corn sweet, but it's actually, to me, it kind of tastes like honey. Th- that's, yes. So a, a little bit of citrus, then a honey sweet rolls in. That's actually, yeah, much more accurate. Um, let me think about the mid. It stays pretty honey sweet for a while and rolls back to some oak, but not a lot. It does just kind of keep a touch of vanilla in the mid. Yep. And then that honey sweet all the way through to the finish. Yep. A little bit of oak. Yep. Comes in. Not a ton of oak. No. Nope, le- less than I'd really expect. Amount. Yeah. Um, so this is not knocking my socks off. A little rye pepper? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this is not knocking my socks off, but it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. I'm going to say it's pretty damn good. I think I know why it's not knocking your socks off. What proof you got of that? I'll give you a hint. It's less than 141. Yeah, no shit. I can't, you can't sniff the 141. It'll kill you. But the batch size is less than 50 barrels. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this at like 93? 90. 90? Okay. I think that's why it's not knocking your socks off. I think they proofed it down just a little too much. I, I think it would it's be still good. an absolute honey bomb. Yeah. If they release this at Barrel Proof. Oh my God, dude. I think it'd be really damn good. I think it would be too. I, I think it would be like that honey stuff that Steve sent us, the Garrison Brothers. Oh, the honeydew? Yeah. And I think that the honey flavor in this would... So the honeydew was infused. Correct. Which you could kind of taste, but it wasn't... It was still good. I think this would have natural honey flavors in it as strong as the infused Garrison Brothers. So nose it again for me. Take a quick drink. Just like sip nose, and swallow it. Right. But got to get that nose too. Oh, that did some weird shit. I got le- legitimately, I got like an orange marmalade on the initial. I got orange marmalade on the initial, but the back, I got like sea salt back yeah, there. Yeah. A little, it gets a little salty. Yeah, uh, that's kind of weird. It kind of dries out even a little bit more. So we're we're learning so much about how you sip a whiskey. Makes a difference. It can completely change the flavor profile. So, uh, yeah, a quick sip, that's, that's a very different drink. With the nose. Yeah, that's a very different drink. So that's an interesting bottle there, David. Yeah. Thank you. Really damned interesting song. Oh my god, I need to just... So now, like, so he's one of the OG outlaws, Mm -hmm. right? Um, And, god, his voice, dude. Man, he is, like, one of the best country artists I've heard at conveying a mood. Conveying a vibe. And a vibe, and, and at the same time telling a story. Which I love. Right. Yeah. That's just cool. Now, that that was a really neat song, and I feel like I need to do a ton more analysis. I'll do that off channel. You guys won't hear it, but I'm going to do it, because I just I need to think about he's, that song. He's got to nerd out. i got to nerd out on he's it. He's got to get his dark power sorcery bullshit. <laughs> guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Drop down in the comments. Tell us what country music we need to check out. Tell us what North American whiskey we need to try. We'll see you next time. See you.